In terms of divorce and, and relationships ending after spinal cord injuries, I think the likelihood is greater, um, number one, when the relationship was relatively new at the time of the injury, and when the um, partners are quite young. I think often those relationships tend to diminish, evaporate, you know. And I think also, in my experience, when men get injured, the wives have more of a tendency to stick with it than when women get injured. When women get injured, men often have difficulty coping with it, and their reaction and their solution to it sometimes is to leave the marriage, because in most cases they just can't handle it. I also think that when couples don't communicate well, it makes things so much more difficult. So if you can communicate with your partner and be honest with them and tell them what's worrying you, what's concerning you, how are things okay, how are things not okay, and what can we do to make things better? That will increase the likelihood, I think, of the relationship succeeding.